Hello, in this video we are going to see how to install the XAMPP setup. I will be demonstrating it on the Linux machine. You can install it on Windows and the working should be same except for a few steps. On Windows basically you will simply run the executable here. It will be a bit different but remaining part should be same. So you should be able to install XAMPP on your machines. Personally, if you ask me, my preference would be to have a complete Linux setup with Apache, MariaDB or MySQL with PHP and all to get a good working environment which will be somewhat like what you get in a production environment. Fine. So, but still if you are uncomfortable with it, you can go with the XAMPP setup and that is what we want to see. If you want a complete setup, I have another video where I have described how you can create a virtual machine of Linux with the required setup into that and that is what would be preferable if you are not interested in installing a Linux system completely on your machine, you can do it on a virtual system. With that, let's go ahead and get the XAMPP server. Let us download the XAMPP server according to your requirement. You will download the XAMPP server from the XAMPP website. Okay, it says if it doesn't start, then you can click here. Okay, so our download has started. Let we can see. Let's wait for it to get downloaded. Okay, so here my file is completely downloaded. So here we can see the file is downloaded and this is, I'll have to give the permissions to let it run. So allow this file to run as a program and close this. Now once this is done, we can go to a terminal and run this program. So here I have a shortcut to open a terminal directly over here. Okay, so here you can see our downloaded file is here. I have already set the permission, but if you are on the command line, you could do a chmod plus x and xamp. This will make sure that the execute bit that x you can see is enabled. We will be able to run this program. Now here I have to run this program as the admin. So either you can switch to root or if you are on Ubuntu on or uh, mint or something like that where sudo is enabled, you can simply say sudo and dot slash xamp to run this program. Keep in mind only the first user is given administrative privileges on Linux, Mint, Ubuntu and other things. You will not be able to do it with another user. So that is there. Now we have the XAMPP setup running. Let's say forward. Here it is asking what to install the XAMPP core files and developer files. Let's leave it as it is. And now XAMPP will be installed to opt slash L A M P P Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP and Perl. It installs Perl also. Okay. Forward. Setup is ready. Now the setup is started. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay. So here our XAMPP setup is ready. It says launch XAMPP. This will start the XAMPP interface. Let's see. Now XAMPP interface, this is the control center with which we can do the work. So you go to the manage server tabs and you can see MySQL, ProFTP and Apache. These are MySQL is stopped, FTPD is stopped and Apache is running. So if Apache is running, we can test it by going to our web browser and by typing localhost over here and we should see the XAMPP page. So over here we can see the XAMPP page which indicates our XAMPP installation at least Apache is working. Okay. Now PHP info here if you click on PHP info and if our PHP is working we get the PHP info. Fine. So this is interesting that you don't have to separately test it. The PHP is also working. Fine. And finally, there is your uh, MySQL, which is stopped. We can start this and we can test this also. And let's just start the MySQL server.
so it is starting the mysql server now and now it says it is running okay so now how do we test mysql uh, there are two ways that we can do is one is from the command line itself and another is that uh, zam provides us a php my admin interface so let's have a look at the php my admin interface you go to localhost and then you say php my admin and this should launch our php my admin interface and here this is directly logged in into the php my admin as a root now keep in mind the zamp setup is not considered or you should not consider it very secure you can do the settings but i would only recommend it for this so this is logged in as root and the php my admin if since it is showing up which means mysql is also working over here so now the basic zamp setup is ready and other things that we need to know is when we are going to work with wordpress drupal or php or test a web website based thing where should we be putting our files development files where will they go so to work with zamp when you want to install wordpress drupal or work with php they have to go into your document root that means when you say local host it picks up the files from a particular directory and that directory is your opt lamp hd docs if you see here there are some files already existing so let's try to create a file over here and test the same you can create a simple html file or another php page so let's create another php page to test the same okay so here we go and here we'll simply write a small php code same thing which we saw from the zamp interface we can do the same thing php this will give us information about php and let's exit this now we'll go back to our this thing browser let's open another tab localhost slash test dot php and here you can see our php file is running and working so when you will be creating any php pages or anything this is where you have to keep now the document root will be different on windows document root on linux with the zamp installation is here so you will have to look for the ht docs wherever your zamp is installed here this is the document root so in simple terms when you type localhost it refers to this much of path and after that whatever is written it should be a directory file or something over here so our content web development content will come inside this be it drupal wordpress or whatever you can keep them in subdirectories or if you are just going to try out one single thing like drupal wordpress you can directly keep the contents keep in mind in real life whatever server you will get you will have a given uh, document root and whatever you want it actually goes directly over here until unless there is a special requirement so this is how you can set up your lamp or zamp server rather on your machine